Hey, Keller Williams, it's your favorite tech trainer again, Bren Brewer. And today I'm coming to you with some information on how to create an opportunity and how to get that opportunity into your DocuSign account and how to get your DocuSign account set up. So first things first, I want you to log into your command website, which was agent.kw.com. Log in there and make sure you're on your home screen because we're going to go over here. We're going to click over here on your name. We're going to click settings and we're going to make sure before we do anything else that our DocuSign is connected. If this is not connected, we need to get this connected. So you need to click connect here and make sure that this is the correct email address right here. After you've done that, we're going to click over here to opportunities with two hands shaking right here and click opportunities. And if you're on a team, make sure that when you're creating an opportunity, if it's a team opportunity, you want to click on your team. If it's a solo opportunity only for you, you want to click on your name. Then you want to click create opportunity. You want to select your team here if it's not there, or if you don't want it to be a team opportunity, don't select anything here. If it's a listing, click it's a listing. If it's a buyer, click that. If it's for a, a rental listing, you want to click landlord, or if it's for a tenant for a rental, you want to click that. Right now, I'm going to click listing. I'm the owner. My client, I want to put them in here right now. And then any custom tags I want to put. I haven't created tags for opportunities yet, but if you need tags for those, you want to put those here now. You want to go ahead and create an estimated closing date. You want to put in your price so your list price here and the commission rate you're going to be getting. And if it is active appointment, or if you're just nurturing these people, I'm going to put this as active so that we can go do some listing documents real quick. So we'll do that. Make sure that's in the stage that you want it to be and click create. I have now created an opportunity. These are the details. You can click these little pencils and edit anything you want about this opportunity. I would advise um, putting in the address of your opportunity. I'm just using mine right now. This is also my husband and anything else you might want to put in here. Go ahead and do that. The seller profile. This listing is associated with Joshua Brewer. His documents. So right now, this is where you would go to upload all your documents. There is nothing here right now because I have to come over here and select a checklist. This is a residential listing, so I'm going to select that. But if it's anything else, We'll click that as well. So instead, I mean, but right now for this video's purpose, we're going to do residential listing and then it populates all your required documents. Okay. And that's your listing documents. And then once you get a buyer under contract on your listing, there's other documents for you to upload in this under contract. And then once the property closes, you've got two more documents that you will upload at the end. So let's go back to listed documents. We know for sure we need information about broker services in a residential real estate listing agreement. So where do we go to get those? Well, we're going to go to DocuSign and from this page, you can click start a transaction. So I'm going to start a transaction. It's going to take me over to DocuSign and it's going to automatically create a room for this property. Now I can add documents here and I'm going to do that in a moment. But one thing we need to check really quickly 
before you even proceed is to see to make sure that your NARDS number, your National Realtor number is in DocuSign. If it's not, you will not have access to any documents. So I want you to click on your, it'll probably be your initials here unless you've uploaded your picture. And then I want you to click on preferences. And then I want you to click on integrations. From integrations here, you can type in your NARDS number and your last name, and then you will click on Texas Association of Realtors as your association membership. Put all this in here before you go any further. If you don't know where your uh, NRDS number is, there's a website you can go to to find it. It's login.connect.realtor slash pound sign exclamation mark slash forgot member. You can either use your last name and your email address or your last name and your license number. So for this, I'm going to use my last name and my license number and click submit. That didn't match because I think I have to have a zero. Let's try again. There you go. Pulls your NRDS number right up. And so that's mine. It's already in my DocuSign. If you don't have yours, make sure when you go to search this that you have put a zero in front of your license number or it will not pull it up. Okay. One more time. It's login.connect.realtor slash pound sign exclamation mark slash forgot member. This is how you find your NRDS ID number. All right. So let's go back to our integrations. We're going to put that number in here and select Texas Association of Realtors. Then when we're done, we're going to click save, save changes. And then we're going to go back to our rooms and we're going to click on the room that we just created. Once you click there, you make sure your details are right. If they're not, we can edit those, but you want to click on documents and we want to add documents to our room. So we know for sure that we just put our NRDS ID in. So we should have forms inside of DocuSign. So let's check DocuSign library, DocuSign forms. And look here, we have Houston association of realtors, Keller Williams library and the Texas association of realtors. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going and then see all these forms populated that I can use. I'm going to search for the information about brokerage services right here. And I'm going to click add. I'm going to click the little dot and then click add. And that populates the form right here for me. And then I can click on that form and fill it out. All right. So now we have that it's all filled out. The information is there. We're going to hit save and close. Then we're going to hit the people tab here. Make sure everybody's here. I've got to, because my client is Joshua Brewer, I've got to invite him. to the room and he will not be able to sign anything until he comes to the room and I'm going to invite him as a scholar and click invite. So now he's in the room. Once he gets in the room, he will be able to sign documents once he accepts the invitation. So now I want to move, go back to documents, click, click here. And I want to create envelope. I've created an envelope. I'm going to call this information about brokerage services. And I have this here. Um, the recipients are going to be in the room and for purposes for this, I'm only going to put me right now, 
but anybody that needs to sign a document and you can add more than one document you can add as many documents as you want and if this were, were listing documents i'd probably call this the property address and listing documents is what i would call this but we only have one form in here and one person but if you need more people you just keep adding them and you click who all you want in here and click add selected okay so once we have that we want them to please sign this form okay and then if you need to tell them anything else you can click there okay once we've done that we want to click next if you're not ready to go to the next step then just click save and close and go work on some more documents we're going to click next brings us up to this form Bren has to sign it and this form is an initial I'm going to put here and if if I wanted her to sign I just drag and drop the signature drag and drop the date she signs it right there any other things if I want her name on there I can put it there any of this stuff if I don't want it there I just click and press delete easy as that now that I'm done I can either preview it or go ahead and send it so I know that this is right I need an initial and I need a date and I'm gonna click send it will be sending to me it'll pop back to the envelope room and then it's going to be in my email for me to sign it please sign this form I'm going to review the document I'm going to click continue I'm going to click start I'm going to initial that there and then I'm going to click finish once that's done that's my DocuSign account for my signing I'm going to go back over to DocuSign let me refresh this room because it should have been signed it shows completed I can click there and I can click view documents click this little arrow one moment please the document is loading and there's my initials with the date and time that I signed this awesome so now I want to click this X button go back to this area I'm gonna go back over to command and oh, I'm sorry got into something else here Let me go back real quick and go to the active opportunity the Joshua Brewer listing I'm gonna go to documents and then I'm gonna click sync transaction and click update now that my transaction has been synced I'm gonna go over here and click add a file and I'm gonna say from DocuSign and here's the Texas information about broker services that was signed I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click assign and there you go no downloading and uploading no downloading and uploading you can pull it automatically from DocuSign which is a very huge advantage for connecting your DocuSign to your command saves a lot of time once that is done I can submit that to the Market Center so I can submit it here once I submit it Lorraine will get it and she will approve or re uh, reject so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to also add a comment to her just so that she knows this is a test and I'm submitting it to market uh, to the market center submit once I've done that I want to uh, wait for an offer once I get an offer in you want to go to your offers tab and you want to add a new offer we're gonna call this you know you might want to call it the buyer's last name 
or whatever the property address slash buyer's last name. Anyway, put that there, click create offer. The offer date will say today's date, close date. We're going to say January 29th. We're going to add the parties. The buyer is Jane Doe. The seller is Joshua Brewer. Uh, the buyer's agent is, we'll just uh, use my name again, even though I, I'm not the buyer's agent. And then we're going to hit terms. The earnest amount is 1%, 2,500. The option fee was $200. We have 10 days. The seller is not contributing anything to a residential service contract or settlement costs in my listing. Oh, didn't even put the price in. So the cash, we're going to say they're going to put down 50 and finance 200. We're going to do a 1% earnest money. And there we go. Now we're going to hit agent analysis. The price is a, is a uh, pro, no cons on this offer. Or you can put here that, it, you know, financing, contingency, if you have anything like that in your offer. And you can write a little summary here. I think you should accept this is a great offer. Click save. Once you click save, you have this offer. If the seller accepts it, you're going to want to come in here and click accept or reject. If you have multiple offers, you put them in the same way with the add new offer button, just like we did. I'm going to go ahead and accept this offer. Once I accept this offer, my commissions tab opens up and you want to go in here and you want to make sure you have all this information. So you're going to edit the general information and you're going to edit your agent payment. If there's another agent you need to pay or a transaction coordinator or a co-broker or a referral, you're going to put all that in here and then all of this should add up correctly for you. And then you're going to click submit. And I can't do that right now because it's not going to work. Maybe it did. Anyway, um, once, once you submit it, then Melanie will create a distribution agreement for you and it should come back right here um, under your under contract documents right here. She'll upload that for you and you'll be able to see it. Alrighty. And that's it for today. I hope this video helped you get from command to DocuSign and back to command again in your opportunities.